Okay, now we can move on to Xorg libraries. So now here it says required is font config. LibXCB we just installed. Elogin D. XMLTO we've installed. FOP we're waiting for. And we've got links. So once again, Xorg libraries is something we'll have to reinstall. Make a note. So you can see what's going to happen here is these files are going to be downloaded and then automatically built. Uh, so the first thing we do is create a list of um, where am I going here? List of files. And you can see the download link is actually just the directory because we're downloading a shed load of files. So let's create this list. And to download the files. Got some code here. And the last thing is the MD5 checksums run as well. Which is quite a good idea because we're not downloading manually. Normally it's finishing, assume it's okay. And assume you're not worried about the integrity of it too much. So there's a bit here while it's downloading saying there's several ways of running these automatically and getting it to install as uh, the root user. And the way they use it is with a script which calls sudo at the pro appropriate time. And it's added to the environment, this uh, function. So let's copy that now. So that, that function is now in the environment. Some libraries come with a test suite if you wish to execute them, either comment out the RMRF below. So that after the library is installed, you can come back to the corresponding directory and run make check or do individual builds. Running the test rigidly distributed with working suites. Alternatively, you can uncom out the make check at the end, check the results with that. So that probably seems to be the easiest actually is to copy this and remove the remark that's there. So um, what we've got to do next, and can check the results of that command. So first start a subshell that will exit on error. So bash minus C, hopefully that won't happen. And let's now try and copy this big script. Copy to there, paste that in, and then carry on with the test. So it means that we'll get an error, I imagine, when the test fails. So let's run that. You see it's extracted the first one. It needs a password. And depending on how quickly this works, it might not need the password again.
Ah, oh, right, okay. I just realised why this has failed. I forgot to do two of the dependencies. So, I need to come out of this. Exit. Oh, of course it would have exited anyway. Because it failed, so let's log back in again. Um, so these two aren't actually part of Xorg, so I'm going to go back here, start with a login D, requires Dbus, I'm sure this, yeah, alright, oh, okay, it needs Xorg libraries, oh, that's interesting, oh, it's recommended. So we can't install e-login e D until we've got the libraries, so I'm going to have to cancel that one. And yeah, but oh uh, yes, as I say, we should um, actually build without them. And then come back. But e login D is, itself has got a lot of dependencies, so um, again, this is going to have to be rebuilt at some point. But let's pause that there and go back to Dbus. type it's half buzz right I'm, I'm getting a bit muddled up here now let's start again I'm definitely getting a bit tired now um XOR driver so the first one is Font config and then login D. He login D needs Dbus. Dbus needs e login D. Now e login D is optional, isn't it? Oh, recommended. Okay. Dbus is required. Okay, so basically we need to um, reinstall Dbus, so rebuild Dbus after Xorg libs and e login D. And to test we need db dbus glib dbus python pwork object background not bothering with documentation we can't do that doxygen yet so pwork object needs object introspection um Have we got that one? Okay, that's interesting. PY Cairo is both required and recommended. Oh, I see Power Python 3 module, right, okay. to install Cairo okay, 
looks like there's going to be separate Python 2. And it's the same link. Alright, the current version of nothing. So we have to install a different version of PY Cairo for Python 2. And that leads Cairo 1.17. I've got Python installed. So I think this is probably where we start here. Oh no. Oh crikey, yeah, we're getting bogged down once again. Um, yes, yeah, so it's getting quite deep again, isn't it? Lipian G. It's okay, Pixman. Some demos. Right, I think I'm going to clear down lot of this and start again. Didn't really want to get stuck into this too much. So I think this is going to be another rebuild. So rebuild D bus. Um, This is for testing, yeah. When PYG object can be built in Dbus Python. So rebuild. So that'll be a second rebuild for Dbus. After the bus Python and PY object been built. Okay, so let's go to terminal and go to dbus now so it's be two dbus is in system utilities chapter 12 Download this program. Go back. And let's extract it. So we've got this configure command, let's see if there's anything else we can do with the configure command. Server oxygen docs, yeah we haven't got that. So we can remove the disable XML docs. So let's do that now. Disable static, and then we we'll use session. So, it 
build extra parts of the code support or testing or using a production build so because we can't test at the moment we're going to have to yeah build as if it was a test uh, sorry as if it was production build even though we're going to come back and rebuild this again to test it so So it's not actually in the in the config. So let's copy the rest of this. Again, do not use that. Enable certs. And again, shouldn't be. So these are. That's why they're not listed there for um, testing, but not on production. So let's grab the rest of this. And run it. Okay, that's built. Okay, so we'll do an install now. So it's installed. Okay. Shared library. Library needs to be. Where's the testing begin? Right, that's that bit there, but looks of it. So, we're okay to copy the move command. Um, as root, so do this. Um, if you're using a Desta install, I believe that's what we're doing, are we? No, we're not, because we haven't set Desta. I think that Desta is used for package management. So if he's injured. So don't do that one. If you're still building your system in truth or you did not start the demon. Not using e login D yet. So let's skip that. So it looks like there's nothing else to be done at the moment. Configuration files listed should not be probably mod modified. If any package installed DBus service outside the standard user shared DBus one service directory, that directory should be added to the local session configuration. For instance, user local shared DBus one created by from commands as a user. Okay, so we can add that in anyway, I think. I'll pick that up. So now we need to start it, so we need to go back to our boot scripts. To make install dbus. 
and attempt to start it. This shows configuration probably at the time we build these things, so we don't need to worry about anything there. So NTC init D D bus start. Okay, I started. I wasn't sure if that would actually run or not. Yep, it's running. So next we can build, we'll leave this up because we've got to rebuild this. Um, so come out of this and remove it. So now let's do login D and this needs dot works my four dot five which we've already got. Um, that one we've got, that one we've got, got that one we haven't got pole kit I don't think. We did that one last time. Look at that one, ZSH, Falcon do not do. ZSH Libcap we've got I believe we've got PCRE sure we did that yesterday or the day before PC oh, perhaps we didn't So let's do PCRE next. Um, so this is under 9. PCRE 8.44. Download. Save to disk. Oh, so it is there. I thought it was. What am I doing then? Uh, oh, I'm looking at Linux from scratch. Didn't even notice. So PCR, yeah, I thought we'd done this one. So we can go to ZSH next. Maybe I should have checked in my list as well. That might have helped. Identify that one. PCI yeah, is marked off as well. So ZSH, this is under chapter 7, which is shells. ZSH. Download. Save the disk. And there's some optional documentation there as well. So time one is XVF ZSH Oops dot Okay, so install the optional documentation first. And 
then install. Is there any other config? Sorry. Okay, so we want to add in enable PCRE and probably enable CAP as well to enable POSIX capabilities and yeah that's the two optional packages so we'll copy part of this config uh, command and add in enable cap and enable PCRE So it's using PCRE and CAP as well, so that's good. So let's run make. So that's finished. Um, we need to copy the other commands. Make info commands. looks optionally we can actually create some more documentation after text info is installed so that's another one to add to the list Text live, sorry, not text info. So now we become root. And we can install the package. If you downloaded the optional documentation, which we did, install it with these commands. So make HTML, uh, these two here. And unfortunately, we weren't able to build the PDF at this time. So linking ZSH dynamic link against PCRE and GD or GDBM produces runtime dependencies on PCRESO and libgdbm which both reside in user. If user is separate mount point and needs to be available at boot time then it's supporting lib machine being lib2 you can remove libraries as, but as follows. So my user is not in a separate partition so I don't need to do that but obviously if um, you have that then you will need to run those commands in. So I need to update this shells um, config file to sh show that we've got that as an option. Oops. And 
and that's ZSH done. Right, so we've got Dbus within object required Glib. Glib, I think we installed that one, didn't we? Glib, yep, that one's installed. Optional Cairo. Oh yes, this one takes us down the rabbit hole again. So once again, Gobject is a reinstall. Gobject introspection. After Cairo's installed, so that was ZSH under shells, and we've got Gobject introspection, which is also in this area, this chapter here. Number nine. Okay, so we just build it with nin a ninja command. So we can't test this um, because we haven't got Cairo. So I'll have to ignore that for now and just go ahead and install it. I've just noticed that, um, some documentation to install there, but we can do that when it gets reinstalled. So for now we'll just do ninja install. done. Let's go up twice. And remove it. So now we can install Polkit. So this needs JS6060. Linux Pam E log in D E log in D needs pulkit. Oh at runtime, okay. So maybe at the moment let's see what this needs. Quite a lot. Auto conf, let's see which one of these we've got. Auto conf we need. Deja new, we haven't got that yet, have we? No. 
Seems like Spectral is going around in circles again. So I'm just going to put that on pause for a moment because Polk it only needs E log in D. As a recommendation, and e logging D only needs Polk at a runtime, so we can actually do e logging D next. And we can leave, yeah, I think I'm going to leave Polk it for later because it looks like it's going to have quite a few dependencies. Things. This is only needed at runtime, and it's a recommendation. Yeah, so I'm going to come back to do that. So that's another note. So rebuild the login D after pocket. Just be sure poll kit needs e log D as a recommendation, right? So this should install without any problems. So uh, let's go. Back, it was Gobjet introspection, wasn't it? Cross that one off. So e login D is section 12. And let's look for that now. So login D system D's project login D extracts out to be a standalone D when it integrates with Linux PAM. Once we want to to know the set of users that are logged into a system whether they are logged in graphically on console or remotely. Elong D exposes information. Okay, just a bit of information there. So I've got the requirement D bus. We can build main pages with all this. Don't need pulk it, and we've got all the optional stuff that's available to us and that we want to um, use. So it looks like we need to modify the kernel. So let's get another terminal up, um, and we need to do this as root sources Linux make menu config so general setup control group there it is there so it's already set so that's okay file systems I notify support for user space So that's already set, that's good. And then under sudo file systems, tempfx posix axis, and that's already set. So that's great because we don't need to do anything for that one. So now we need to look at the cryptographic API, which is here user space cryptographic algorithm configuration. So that needs to be set, so I'm going to build that in and use the space interface for hash algorithms. Hash algorithms, there it is there. So I'm going to build that in. So we come out of this and rebuild it.
Okay, that's built, so we can do a copy. Arch x86 underscore 64 to boot VM Linux CP system to boot system and config to boot config and I'll just do a make modules install to make sure that's kept fresh so that should be okay we've just got to remember to reboot at some time before we test X windows so I'll come out of that go back to my terminal and I can have I fetched it have I fetched it I think I have have I no so illegal login D let's download it okay and let's extract it it's fine and then we can start building it so fix one of the tests and now we can let's just see if there's any other options doesn't look like it right. so we can copy all of this and watch it build Okay, that's done. So it says that we can run an test, but a few tests are skipped if not run with root privileges. So I'm just going to go into SEO and run Ninja test. Oh, there's one failure there. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, now I wonder if we need yeah it could be maybe one of these other optional ones that are not part of the LFS is causing that problem uh, let's have a quick nosy I don't think I'm going to be too worried about this. Certainly not at this stage. Do I need to look for a file, do I? Yeah. Test random until. Just random util. Killed by signal eleven. Hmm. Okay. Um, let me try and run these as an ordinary user and see what difference it makes. Okay, we've got permission problems now because we've run out of these routes. Okay, 
think it's skipped one this time. We've got the same failure. I'm not going to worry too much about this. It's um, some of the optional packages obviously aren't there. Um, it may well um, fail. Oh, and another thing, of course, we haven't got poll kit as a requirement for runtime. So that, again, that could be the problem. So yeah, not, not not to worry about that too much. It will matter obviously when Polk is installed. So now let's become a root and install it. So it's configuration for PAM. To be put in as root user. So this is the first configuration file. Share, but it's got the ampersands on the end. That's fine. And that's the end of that one. So this has only got requirement to rebuild for pole kit, so I can shut that down for now and mark it off. E login D. And I should be able to. Oh, yes, Dbus has got to come again after we've installed the XOR drivers. That's okay. So now we're on to font config and we need free type. That needs. Alright, these are recommendations. So once again, I'm going to ignore these for the moment and come back to do them. So, rebuild. Type after half bus. And where are we in chapter ten? So I'm going to tidy this up, back up two. We'll go to chapter 10 and free type, uh, yeah, 10. Okay, now we've got some additional documentation to download. I'll extract that while it's downloading, it's quite slow.
Okay, the uh, command explanations, I don't think there's anything extra to put, put in there. There's just one without half buzz if it's already installed, but we're not installing it at the moment. So we can um, just go straight ahead and start building. So that's the documentation. Now we'll start building. And as it says, there's no testing available here, so we'll just uh, configure and make, and then make install. And we've got the optional documentation, so we'll put that in. And that's done. So mark that one off free type. So now we can do font config. So we've got these two dependencies, but we haven't got text live. So once again, this will be another reinstall just for the documentation. So I reinstalled it after text live. If you have Docbook Utils installed, look, I thought we had that, perhaps we haven't. Docbook, oh no, I haven't got that one installed. Well, I'm not going to do that one at the moment, so that's Docbook Utils as well. And doc book tools. So we haven't got doc book utils installed, so we can ignore that. Okay, so we can just start with that rm command. Disabled docs, right? So, disabled docs is already in there, so we can just copy and paste this. And make check. So good, so sudo s one c did not move. Alright, yeah, that's to install pre formatted documentation, so we'll do that. 
Let's install it and copy these commands because we didn't remove the disabled docs. And that's font config, config done. So now we're back to the libraries and now we have got font config which should have done in the first place. LibXCB, we've got a recommended um, package there, eLogin D. Okay, so we can actually run this, I think now. So let's come out of this. Come back to XC and back to the lib directory where we were. Just gonna get rid of that stray directory there. If you see there's that's where it got stuck. In case that causes a problem when it reruns them. And we should still have our lib7. Oh, no, we haven't for some reason. All oh, right, it's in the previous directory. So we don't need to do this. We can just run from this grep command here. So I'm going to go back here. Oh, this is the download, sorry. So we've downloaded them. We should still have this function. So we just run bash E, bash minus E, and then uh, go back up one and re-enter this installation script and not forgetting the make check bit as well take that mark out And hopefully it will fly through all of them this time. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, well, that's because I logged out, wasn't it? So, um, I'll have to. There's no directories there. That's okay. So I'll have to enter that again. Bash minus C again, and then recall that big command there. And hopefully, this ah, oh, why is this not working now? Oh, did it not export? Export as. That's better because it wasn't exported. It wasn't. It didn't exist in the subshell when sudo's run.
Okay, so that's compiled now. Um, we can do exit to come out of the shell that we started near the top. So it would exit on an error. So it's clearly not happened. And we can carry on. So if you've chosen to install Xorg into user and no further configuration is necessary, you can skip the rest. If you opt to, for an alternate prefix, you should create two simulators to satisfy the expected environment of several packages. So we need to go back to our terminal. Locate where we are. Yep, there it is, these two at the top here. Oh, of course, we should be root. And they've run in successfully. So that's that section of the libraries. We've got a few more to do though, it's not, not the end just yet.